Welcome to Rome Pay X Online Workshop. Welcome to Payment Max, powered by First Data. This exciting smartphone application is something that will add tremendous value to your business by empowering you to accept payments on the go without having to purchase additional expensive hardware. Rome Pay X credit card app works in tandem with Payment Max merchant account. We'll be discussing a welcome, user service activation, introduction, purpose, key features, activation, using the system, my Rome, contact us. Payment Max is a merchant service provider for business owners who want to have the ability to take payment via their mobile phone. Our mission is to serve merchants with the best payment processing solutions, lowest rates, quickest funding, and exceptional customer service. Payment Max is a leading provider of payment processing solutions. We are here for all types of businesses, including retail, restaurant, services, wireless, telephone and mail order, internet, and many more. Thousands of small to mid-sized businesses rely on Payment Max to simply, securely, and effectively get money into their accounts. Activating Rome Pay X. To activate full service, please follow the steps below. Upon sign up, you'll receive an activation email containing a username and temporary password. Follow the instructions in the email to activate your MyRome. That's my.romedata.com account. To use Rome Pay X, you must first log into your MyRome account and accept Rome Data's terms and conditions. Change your password. Accept the reoccurring payment method provided. Download the Rome Pay X application from your phone's Market App Store. Note, until these steps are completed, you cannot use Rome Pay X on your mobile device or PC Mac virtual terminal. If you experience any issues with the download or login, please contact support at paymentmaxhq.com. The primary purpose of Rome Pay X is to turn your mobile phone into a payment terminal to accept credit and debit card payment transactions. Pin debit transactions are not allowed. The application also allows users to both void and refund transactions. To accommodate users who may not always have connectivity on their device, the application can run in online or offline modes. While in offline mode, Credit and cash payment information is stored securely on the device and will be uploaded later to the payment server. The user assumes the risk of a credit card decline while operating in offline mode. This webinar describes how to use the Rome Pay X application powered by Rome. It provides information and details on the functionality and simple steps to use each function of the Rome Pay X application and virtual terminal for desktop notebook version. Note, illustrations depict the application as shown on a mobile device, as shown in Figure 1, and Virtual Terminal. Different devices may display the content differently. By the way, if you are on this webinar, and if you have not signed up, be sure to visit PaymentMax.com after this webinar and sign up with us. Rome Pay X application has seven major functions. Credit Sale, Cash Sale, Void, Refund, History, Offline Sale, Settings. The key features. Process all major credit and debit cards. Rome Pay X enables you to accept every major credit card with your mobile phone. This includes MasterCard, Visa, American Express, and Discover. Process and record transactions such as voids and refunds for credit and cash transactions. Set tax rate for auto calculations to the total. Accept tips, gratuity. Record cash and card transactions. All transactions are recorded and can be exported for better management and organization. Record customer contact details and build up customer base for targeted marketing. Offline transactions. When cellular or Wi-Fi signal is not available, transactions can be stored securely and uploaded at a later time when your network is accessible. Issue receipts to customer email. 
receipts can be sent to customers' email address when making both cash and card sales. Merchants always receive a copy of the receipt for every sale. Completely Secure Transactions All payment activities are DES3 encrypted to ensure protection for you and your customers. Shortly after the completion of your registration for the RomePayX application, you'll receive a welcome email with your username, temporary password, and activation code for your iOS and Android devices. The activation code is required to activate as shown in Figure 2 and use the RomePayX application upon download from the App Store market. This code should be kept in a secure location in case you need to reinstall your application in the future. When the download is completed, the Rome PayX application, as shown in Figure 3, will most likely be stored in the Application folder under the main menu. Dragging the icon to the home screen will make it easier to access the app. Please review the following. You will need to log into MyRome at my.romedata.com and complete the necessary steps before Rome PayX will be ready for use on your mobile phone. You will also be able to purchase accessories on the MyRome portal. Please see the section in this manual for the instructions on MyRome online usage. Once loaded, the login screen will appear requesting the username and password as shown in Figure 4. Use the same username and password you used for MyRome. The username and password are case sensitive. Using the system. Log in. Note all users must be authenticated using a username and password before gaining access to any functionality provided by the application. The username and password are case sensitive. Launch Rome PayX by selecting the icon from your applications folder. Enter your username and password. Note if this is the first time you are launching the application, you will see a screen asking you to set up your default settings, as shown in Figure 5. These settings include Enable Sales Tax Enable Tipping Gratuity Change Password Enter Sales Tax Percent Enable Signature Capture Select the items you wish to enable and select Save. You may change these defaults later by pressing the Settings button in the upper menu bar. After the initial setup above, you will land on Home Screen, which is the Credit Sales page as shown in Figure 6. From this screen, you can produce a credit sale or move to one of the other options which are Cash Sale, Refund, Offline, Void, History, Settings. Credit Sale the main page upon login is Credit Sale, as shown in Figure 6. Please follow the steps below. Start by entering the amount of the transaction in the Amount section using the standard dollars and cents format, for example, 10.09. The sales tax has been pre-populated only if the sales tax option has been enabled in the setup. Select a predefined tip percent by pressing one of the options. You can also enter a different amount in the Tip Amount field. Tip percent and tip amount are displayed only if tipping has been enabled in the settings menu. Once the amounts have been added to the respective fields, select Calculate. The subtotal tax and tip will be displayed along with the sales total as shown in Figure 7. Select Continue if the information is correct or back if the information needs to be changed. The next section is optional information to be added if you wish to capture your customer's information, such as name, address number one, address two, zip code, city, state. You may either enter the information and select Capture or select Skip. The next screen, Figure 8, is where you will capture the following. Card data, manual or swipe, email address of your customer, which is optional. Note. Entering email address will automatically send customer receipt upon transaction submission. Invoice order number, optional. Additional notes, optional. For swipe capable devices, select the swipe card button as shown in figure eight. You will be prompted to swipe card now. Swipe the card through the swipe as directed in the swipe instructions guide. The truncated card data will appear along with the expiration date 
and security code CVV2. Fill out any of the optional fields that you wish and select Submit Payment. For manual entry, the user will hand key the following. Credit card number, CVV, expiration date. The user will also be required to enter in the customer data fields, address, zip code. All other fields for address are optional. For either manual or swipe capable device entry, transmission will begin and payment request approval or decline will appear on the screen as shown in Figure 9. The user will be prompted to continue confirming the transaction message and a copy of the receipt will be displayed as shown in Figure 10. Select OK to continue. If you have enabled signature capture, you will be prompted to have the card holder sign on the screen. Customer signs in Signature box and selects Done as shown in Figure 11. You are returned to the Credit Sale screen for the next transaction. Cash Sale Cash Sales provides the following benefits. Does not go to the processor for any approval. Used for tracking your cash sales. Provides an email receipt for your customer. Viewable on your MyRome account. Select the Cash Sale button to start your cash sale. Select by entering the amount of the transaction in the Amount section as shown in Figure 12. Using the standard dollars and cents format, again for example $10.09. The sales tax has been pre-populated only if the sales tax option has been enabled in the Settings menu. Select a predefined tip percent by pressing one of the options. You can always enter a different amount in the Tip Amount field. Tip percent and tip amount are displayed only if tipping has been enabled in the settings menu. Once the amounts have been added to the respective fields, select Calculate. The subtotal tax and tip will be displayed along with the sales total as shown in Figure 13. Select Continue if the information is correct or Back if the information needs to be changed as shown in Figure 13. The next screen is optional with sections for Notes. Notes are any notes you wish to make about the customer. Email. Email is sent to an email recipient to your customer. Note, you must select the Send Receipt checkbox for the email to be sent. Reverse Phone Lookup. Note, this function is optional and not required to process with the exception of manual key entry which required address and zip code entry shows up in cash sale mode only. Select Next and you'll see the reverse phone lookup screen. You may look up a phone number to collect the data for your records. To collect the data, check Collect Cust Data. You can use any listed landline phone number with this feature. If listed, the address fields will automatically fill in with address information found under the number. If you check the Collect Cust Data without entering a phone number, you can manually enter the customer information. This information includes name, address number one, address two, zip code, city, state. Select continue and the request will be submitted. You will receive a payment submitted response and you select OK. Devoid a transaction. Avoid means clearing a transaction that was just recently performed. Voids must be performed prior to settlement occurring and for some processors, this must occur in as little as 20 minutes. If a void cannot be performed, you may process a refund instead. Select the Void button. This will bring up the latest transactions and their amounts. Select the transaction and if desired, select the Details button to view details of the transaction. Press the Void button and you will be prompted to verify the transaction to void. Select the Void button and the application will request a void. If the request was approved, the screen will display Transaction Voided at the authorization code. If declined, the decline will be displayed. Select OK to proceed back to the Void screen. Select Back to go to the main screen. For a Refund Refund is a credit reverse which means you can credit the card for any amount credit, cash. To perform a credit refund, select credit and then press select which will bring you to the credit card data entry screen as shown in figure 14.
for swipe credit returns, enter the amount to be credited first. Select the Swipe icon. This device will initiate the swipe and display Swipe Card Now. Swipe the card. The data will be displayed with the expiration and amount to be refunded. Select the Next icon to transmit the refund request. If successful and approved, you will receive an approval message and an authorization code. Select the OK icon to continue. For manual entry credit returns, enter the credit card number, enter the expiration date, enter the amount to be refunded. Select the refund icon to transmit the refund request. If successful and approved, you will receive an approval message and an authorization code. Select the OK icon to continue. For cash refund, from the refund menu, select Cash. Press Select. Enter the cash amount. Select the refund icon to transmit the refund request. You will receive a message the refund was successful. Select the OK icon to continue. Offline. Offline transactions, also known as store and forward, are for times when there is no method of transmitting the credit card information to the processor. This allows the user to store the card data in the application and running the transaction at a later time when data transmission is available. Note, offline transactions will not perform an authorization at the time of swiping or entering the card data. The merchant assumes all risks if the card is declined or lost in transaction. It is highly suggested that all offline transactions also include the card data and merchant contact information being captured for possible recreation of the transaction if needed.